I think for the county commission is uh, to help address this problem, we continue to need to have a place to put animals. Options before us are finding a different place. If, if we can't work with you, we right. can't get the kind of accountability that I agree we need to be seeing. Um, another option is can we, uh, by uh, amending the lease, effectively take control from you a part of the ARC building for uh, use by the animal control problem to whoever, SPCA, Humane Society, uh, John Doe, whoever um, would like to do that. So, so these are the two options. We're at a high level, if, if, from my thinking, the County Commission has two possibilities. One is to try to renegotiate the lease terms, either uh, in a, uh, affable fashion or, or just by letter of the law that we feel like we can do that, or to just find different accommodations for the animals. Three options, I'm sorry. Or you can come up with a, an accountability program and do it for, well, $50,000. Mr. Fleming, we have all, all, all accountability. Every penny we've spent up there. And I think you've got another possibility. Okay. If the SPCA can go find them a, a shelter and put in a bid just like everybody else. Yeah. Was, Told they had to. right. That, that's that's what I that's what I'm trying to express when right. I say find another place. Um, because BSBC before be you take, on the head of that I mean, I think you should think very seriously before you try to take part of that building out of that lease. I don't know that we, we can or that we will. I think that would be very difficult. I, I want to just say that I believe that ARC really did jump into the breach on this problem and put uh, their shoulder to the wheel and uh, took a problem and dealt with it, uh, we just didn't have a place. And the, uh, the SPCA also has uh, done a good job as best they can. Uh, this is just a problem that's just got to be resolved somehow and maybe other people in the mix, but there will be a solution, I'm sure. Yeah. But I don't think we can solve it today, and no. we don't have to because the contract isn't going to be up until uh, <coughs> but, but, yeah, June. I, the, the, the issue and the reason we budgeting. raised this... It's a budgeting timeline. Kind of right. We need to know if you are interested in a budget proposal during the budget meetings in March because oh, exactly. we could give each uh, group a, a budget proposal and let them complete it, bring it back to us for, for consideration in our budget. But at this point, the SPCA needs to find their own facility, so whether it's working it out with them or somewhere else. No, that isn't yeah. going to happen. Well, then our, our, sorry, our understanding is that we, we are managing the county's shelter. If the county wants to have us continue managing the county shelter. We will submit a bid that basically is predicated on us having the managerial control of both the facility and the staffing of it, and that the county needs to provide that facility, at, and it can provide it to anybody to bid on. And for that matter, ARC could bid on it, but it needs to be a separated facility. This gets to the basic question of that what, is, happen, what is the appropriate well, no. use of that. Okay. A year ago, when the decision was made to put the shelter there, there was no discussion, there was no thought, there was no time to think about these longer-term issues. That's right. So for today and going forward, the question is, because that arrangement was made a year ago, does that mean it's a forever arrangement and it can't be changed? And I, I think that the county commission has the authority to review the lease and revise it and carve out the part of the building and the grounds and make that available for bid from any qualified um, contractor. We're not saying we're the only ones, but we are saying that we got into this to replace the Humane Society, and if we're not going to go look for a shelter to manage if we if we aren't going to manage this one. Thank you. Um, we're we're out of time on this issue.